What's up? This is Professor Wergelis. I'm recording my fifth video on my Amazon EC2 video series. In my last video, we created a Hello World page and connect to it via the browser. Uh, in this video, we will set up FileZilla to connect to our instance via SFTP. Uh, you'll want to make sure you watch my prerequisite videos for creating and configuring an instance before you go through this video. On Chrome, you can do a search for FileZilla. Okay, and you'll see here the FileZilla project.org. Go here. There's two options. If you need to download FileZilla, you want to make sure you download the client version. We want to put this on our client, which is our local machine, and we'll connect to our server from our client. So make sure you download this client version. Okay, you can select here, it'll go ahead and start downloading. After you have it downloaded, you can open it up, and this is what it looks like. On the left here, you'll see the contents on your local machine, and on the right, you'll see the contents on the server. But see, we have not connected to any server yet. So if we need to connect to our server, you want to have your EC2 management console open. Select the server and click the connect button, and we'll need our public DNS. So I'll select my public DNS and copy it. From FileZilla, I need to go to my Site Manager. Click File, and then Site Manager. Here we're going to want to create a new site. So we'll create a new site. We'll call it CS2830. And under the General tab, paste our public DNS. Sometimes when you paste the DNS, the screen looks white. So you might click the left arrow key and then you'll be able to see the contents that you've pasted. Okay, so make sure you paste your public DNS. We're going to be on port 22. For the protocol, we're going to use SFTP. For the login type, you're going to want to click key file. The username will be ec2-user, and then we're going to search for our PIM file. Uh, if you're on Windows, you're going to search for your PPK. So I'll select my PIM file. And after I set it all up like this, we're going to go ahead and try to connect. Here it's going to say we're connecting for the first time. It's unknown. We're not sure about this fingerprint. Are you sure you want to connect? We'll click OK. And once you see this, you've logged on to your server. By default, it goes to your current user's directory. But that's not where our public HTML directory is. So you'll click the backslash here, scroll down, go to var, scroll down go to www and then HTML this is where your public HTML directory is and this is our hello world page that we created if you're in your user directory you can also come up here and type forward slash var www HTML hit enter it'll bring you here on FileZilla it's nice if I want this file on the server I simply drag and drop and you can see it uploaded to my server so now this is on my server and I can do an SSH into my server. Okay, you'll see that file's right here. So it is, in fact, on my server. Also, from FileZilla, you can view and edit files. Uh, I have it open up in brackets. We'll talk about how we can get that set up. We can also rename them, delete them, change the permissions. We can put files from our server back onto our local machine. So if I want this Hello World page on my local machine, I just drag and drop. You can also do a double click and a file will transfer over. Or I can do a double click on this side. It'll transfer over. We can create directories. So maybe we want to create a new directory like Challenge 8. We can do that. and We can create files. Um, view and edit them. So FileZilla is very powerful. It's similar to what we can do in the command line, but we have a user interface so we can see everything that's going on and it makes things really easy for us to use. There's a shortcut get into the site manager. If you click this little icon here, you'll get into the site manager and you can come here and edit it. Each time you come into FileZilla, so let's say I close it, I open it back up, and usually ask if you want to update. You can update or not. 
And I'll click here and then I'll double click. Or you can always click there. You can always click into your site manager. Click the site you want and then click connect. That will also be fine. So congratulations, you've set up FileZilla to connect to your EC2 instance. If you're not able to transfer the files into this public HTML directory, you want to make sure you go back and open up the permissions. So if up here on the top, if you're transferring files over and it keeps saying uh, permission denied, permission denied, then usually you haven't opened up the permissions for that public HTML directory. So once you open that up, you can transfer files over, write to files, save files, create directories, and do everything we just went through. If you have any questions, then let me or the TAs know. You can also leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.